Hey everyone, what's up guys? How are you guys doing? Okay guys, so you welcome back to today's video and you're welcome back to my channel. Alright guys, so in today's video, I'll be pleased to show you an amazing ingredient that would actually help you to get rid of dark um, knee and dark elbow okay you can as well use it on your dark knuckles yeah okay so let me tell you one thing now the truth is that some of we ladies actually you know go forward to buy all of this chemical fuel cream that would actually end up you know dividing our skin into two colors sometimes into three colors okay and then you will now be running Elta Skelter looking for solution here and there now if you're actually gonna be using this product of mine you would ha have to know that you have to choose between using those chemical and actually going organic okay because when you use this and you're still using those chemical it actually is going to ruin the results and you're gonna be like oh your stuff does not work it does so let me take you right into this video so you could see all of the ingredients and then you could decide to try it all right let's go okay guys so are you having dark knee or your knees are actually looking dark or you've actually you know maybe rub a cream that doesn't match your skin and it makes your knee and your elbow look really really darker than your other skin okay so you got a solution and this solution is actually going to help you so much to remove all of those dark knee, but you have to be consistent when trying this ingredient out okay so we're going to be needing to use onion in this particular ingredient so I'm gonna be taking just half cut of my onion and then I'll have to peel it all off now the onion juice in and this helps so much to remove dark darkness on your skin, dark spots, okay? And it also helps for age-related problems such as dark patches, age spots, dark spots and dark elbow and dark knee also so what, what, what we're going forward to is that we're, we're going to be blending this to get our juice out of this okay so i'm going to be grabbing my little tiny blender and then putting the onion into the blender putting in a little water so that I can have my onion juice extracted from here and then I would have to blend now it doesn't actually matter which onion you use in this particular case you can use your white onion or you can use your red onion After that is done guys, and you're, we're going to be grabbing a strainer plus another bowl and a spoon and then we'll pour in the onion into the strainer. see about the juice okay so since I've actually extracted my onion juice I'm gonna be taking just a little quantity since this ingredient is just for your elbow or for your knee basically all right so the very next ingredient we're going to be needing here is baking soda which is otherwise called bicarbonate of soda now baking soda is an amazing 
Baking soda is an amazing ingredient that helps so much with scrubbing out dead skin cells on the skin, leaving your skin looking healthy, soft, and it's remove all of those um, frackiness, dryness, and then make your skin look really healthy and lighten. So, what I'm gonna do here. That I'm going to be putting about one tablespoon of baking soda into this onion juice and that is actually going to change the color of this of this baking soda into a very light yellow this is how it looks like Alright guys, so the very next ingredient we're going to be making is of the sandalwood powder. Okay, now you can actually order sandalwood powder online. It's going to be easy for you to get it because you can actually get sandalwood powder in a local market. This is how it usually is. It looks like cinnamon, but it is actually not cinnamon. So I'm going to be putting about half a tablespoon of sandalwood powder into this now this powder is actually extracted from a stem is actually a stem and then a, they actually blended it into a powder form this actually helps so much in lightening up the skin so if you're aiming to lighten up your skin okay and then you know make your skin look lighter you would have to include sandalwood powder in your treatment or your cream or your remedy literally so 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 this is actually going to help to lighten up your dark elbow or your dark knee okay so this is how it looks like and it, the consistency is in a lotion form and that is what we need right now for the dark knee all right guys so you're also going to be including this and this is colgate now you need this a whole lot because Colgate actually helps so much in terms of removing dark spots and all. Now since it helps to remove dark spots, it will also help even in getting rid of dark knee plus dark elbow. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that I just um, squeeze in the Colgate. Then I'll have to try to mash it all. All right, so after that is done. This is the consistency that you're going to get. Now, this is actually going to be a little foamy because of the toothpaste. And that is basically what you need, okay? That's basically what we need for this ingredient to make it really, really powerful. Now, I'm going to be using my the back of my hands and my knuckles as your help or literally okay if you're having dark knuckles you can equally use this and then dark knee it is perfect so this is what you do guys you actually grab this treatment or ingredients okay and then you first of all apply it onto your dark knee just like that in a circular motion but you don't scrub it at first you just apply it onto your dark knee just like that apply it onto the second knee or, or elbow this actually works very much in terms of lightening your elbow or lightening your knee because those areas are usually you know thicker the skin on those areas are usually thicker and that's why we need the sandalwood powder to help to lighten it all up so now after which you've actually um apply this then you can actually wait for about three more minutes and then you begin to scrub now when you're scrubbing these guys you have to apply a little bit of force you guys know that the elbow area and the knee area is a stronger skin if you don't know that yes it is a more 
true try to read it is a more stronger skin compared to your other place so you apply a little bit of force i'm not applying any any force here because i'm actually doing it on my palm but if you're doing it on your on the at the back of your hand sorry not palm if you're doing if you're scrubbing at the back of your hands you're not going to be scrubbing this too much okay it's actually going to help to lighten you up and make that place lighter now bear it in mind that when you're actually using this and you're still using that cream or that lotion that actually gave you all of the darkness patches and dark elbow and dark knee it's not going to be working okay because the cream is going to be fighting this treatment so you have to suspend one for one so it therefore means that you suspend the cream first or use a more mild cream and a more friendly cream for this and this is going to be helpful so for this wet claw one, you scrub it once a day. You know, just continue scrubbing it until you, the darkness on your knee and your elbow is gone. So that's it guys, go give this a go. And when you're actually trying this, you would also have to um, forgo some of those chemical creams. If it's not good for you, why not just leave it? Or rather you get get organic products that would tone you evenly, you know, and that would actually glow your skin also. And you would stay away from dark knuckles, dark elbow and dark knee, and you're gonna be happy. Anyways, for the meantime, go give this a try and I'm sure it's going to actually scrub out all of those dead skin cells around that places and you're gonna be good. So that's it guys. If you do love this video, do not forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this video. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.